comparing design solutions against one another, using specific criteria that are based on project requirements. Let's consider which of these materials would be best for creating models of puzzle pieces. We will compare dice, modeling clay, linking cubes, sugar cubes, caramel candy, and foam blocks. The criteria we will be evaluating each of these on includes cost, reusable, uniform geometry of the object, self-adhering, and model resilience. To rank the alternatives, we use a matrix that looks like this. Notice the six different modeling options are listed along the left side. The criteria are then listed across the top, and the scale is located on the bottom. Let's take a closer look at the scale. If a criteria is a yes or no answer, the score will be a 1 for no or a 2 for yes. Other criteria are evaluated based on a scale of 1 to 4, with 4 being the highest. Now let's take a look at each of the block options and evaluate them. We'll start with the dice. The dice are expensive, so we'll put a number 1. They're kind of reusable, so we'll put a 2. They're uniform in geometry, that's for sure, so we'll put a 4. Need double-sided tape in order to stick them together, so that's probably a 1. And they are very resilient, so that's a 4. Now let's take a look at the modeling clay. It's consumable, so it's a little more expensive. We'll give that a 2. It's reusable, but not a whole lot, so we'll give it a 2 as well. It requires forming into cubes. They don't come preformed, so that's a 1. They are somewhat sticky, so we'll give that a 2. And resilient, not very much so, so we'll give that a 1 as well. The linking cubes are cheap, so we'll give that a 4 for their cost. They're somewhat reusable, so we'll give it a 2. They are precise geometry. They come as a cube, so we'll give that a 4. They can connect together with interlocking protrusions, so we'll give that a 2 for self-adhering. And they are pretty resilient, so we'll give that a 3. Sugar cubes are definitely cheap. We'll give that a 4. They're not reusable, so a 1. The geometry of each sugar cube is relatively precise, so we'll give it a 3. It's not quite a 4. And they're not very self-adhering. We'll give that a 1. They are pretty resilient, so we'll give it a 3. Caramel candies are fairly inexpensive, so we'll give that a 3. They're not reusable. A 1 goes there. Cubes are not uniform. That's a 2. They are kind of self-adhering, but not really, so that's a 2 as well. Then they're not very resilient. A 1 goes there. Lastly, let's look at the foam cubes. They are kind of expensive, so we'll put a 1 for that. Reusable, we'll put a 2 there. They do come in precise geometry, so we'll give that a 4. Not self-adhering. So a 1 goes there. And they are fairly resilient, so we'll put down a 3. Now let's add up each row to determine which material is best for creating a model of a puzzle piece. Type in your answer for each material in the totals column.
The highest number in the chart is for linking cubes. Design decisions should be based on analysis and logic, not personal opinion. A decision matrix is one of those tools that can help determine the best solution to a problem.